I, I can't help but feel like you're delaying this because you're scared. Wow, I would give that the fact that I've done that every episode of this entire uh-huh, And I'm trying not to call you out on it, but I think it's time to try. All right, listen up, voice in my head. I've only got one thing to say to you. Excuse you? No! Sorry, is this, is this the Inception trailer? <laughs> I hope you end up with a massive... Going oh. right through your... Until you... Oh. More than you How can... How did you know what I like? <laughs> You're just over there like, oh yeah! Horn me more, Cyclops Daddy! I don't want to be that guy, but but we've gone from 40% power to 34% power just because you keep using the horn. Oh god, it's ticking down! <laughs> Actively! No, stop! stop! Stop using the horn, it's using so much energy! Oh, but it's so appealing! <laughs> oh god, when does it end? But I was trying to use horn seduction. Ah! Is, there, is that inside the Cyclops? <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't do that to I... me, spine fish! What the fuck? I have, I have about seven different questions. <laughs> you can't just spooky ghost through my Cyclops! So I have learnt and realized that we are uh, doing ourselves a great disservice by attempting to charge power cells I wow. still just can't I can't it's got to be at least a little bit of a reason wow. to do it Appar- apparently it's a catastrophically bad decision so so we should we should get a base with a power source built somewhat swiftly is what I'm well uh, yeah uh, that's I'm always learning. a goal why can't I do the middle one with the power stop, stop. I can't stop. okay 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 Thank you. I was panicking. You calmed me down, sir. <laughs> oh, I do want to find more Holmes. Cyclops modules. I assume there is more. We probably want this fire suppression system before we go into the hot caves. Well, those ones aren't even a finding. I, I, I mean, I don't feel like fire is necessarily our problem with heat. It might be with fire. No, but I, I'm, I'm assuming from context of fire suppressors being inbuilt on the Cyclops that there are scenarios at which this... Oh, I'm sure fires can happen. Yeah, so I feel like having that is a good idea. How are we doing now? Oh yeah, fifty-three percent. Okay, we need we need to solve uh, the power issues, which means we need to set up our little little out little uh, little basey little basey wasey here. So that's why we're here. We need we need stuff. We need stuff for that. Well, we need to choose the actual location first, right? Yeah, yeah, but there's no point going out without materials, because then if we find a location we like, we can just start building as opposed to coming back. So, the minimum we need... I thought we were taking the Cyclops for it. Oh, no, no, because we'll just drop out in the prawn and and set it up here. I don't want to use any more Cyclops power until we have a source of Cyclops power that isn't, like, cannibalized. As much as I like a little bit of fish on fish, you know what I'm saying? You're not a fish. Nor is it Cyclops. That's why I like a little bit of fish on fish, because it doesn't mean me. I love other species breeding. It's time to crown the king. I really thought I would get in the brawn from pressing the open <laughs> hatch button. <laughs> After you, my liege. <laughs> I've now decrowned the king. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> uh, also, I love how the hatch isn't even on the. Pr- it's just a hatch that goes down to the prod, so you're just entering the room from above. By the way, it does occur we have managed to achieve perfect depth. Like, how did we? <laughs> there is no better place for the Cyclops to be. <laughs> yeah, it only has one eye, so it can't see the last number. You are very right. welcome, prawn. Why did I say that you're welcome, prawn? <laughs> Silly prawn. Oh, eat? titanium. Oh, well, that was that. a convenient <laughs> instant. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that wasn't what we were looking for. We do it? need a little bit more, yes. Shake for me. So. Shake for me, Rock. Shake your sweet little mineral body. Look, it's important that you talk to the mineral nodes like this. They respond better, and they drill they drill faster for you. So I don't think your voice is creating more vibration. Oh, it is. I've got a very vibrating voice. Ah, uh, see? see? We've got all the Rock, but where's the DJ? What? <laughs> do you know what Rock is? We've got all the rock, but where's the DJ? It's not usually the genre that DJs are for. I was going to say the greatest song ever, but I have no special affinity towards it whatsoever. It just fit what I was saying. Okay. You know, the rock, rock DJ, because you're making us feel all right. That's I song. have never heard that in my life, but also for just a moment, I thought you were making a, a Dwayne the Rock Johnson joke somehow. 
<laughs> you know, rock DJ. Rock! Rock is a DJ! That's my favorite DJ role. is the rock. He's gonna make us feel all right. You're safe now. That's my... <laughs> That's my rock telling us we're safe impression. Did you like You're safe. it? My name's Dwayne. <laughs> All right, so where? Well, we haven't like gone anywhere yet. I think deeper. I think we want to be in a bigger open area. Yeah, but I don't want to make this base massive because I want to really be sure of where I'm choosing for my magnum opus. So for now, I just want to solve yeah, the power why does, issue. But, but still, why does it need to be down low is what I'm saying. Like, put it in the most open area possible, and that way you have options. But if we build it here, then eventually we can why? tube it over to here, and that's really nice. <laughs> why? I don't they think float. you can it does, just... They literally float. It goes wherever you, you just... fucking put it. Yeah, there is a, there is a max height. No, there is a, there is a max height. Yeah, I sure. thought there was, because you have to be in range of the supports, you ninny. Yeah, and then you can build on top of it. But the idea is you don't want, yeah, like, so a wall to the left. if you can build on top of it, you want it to be as low down as possible yeah, but to start with. you have a wall immediately left, is what I'm saying. Yeah, you want protection from some sides. For what? Have you not gone to basic castleology? This isn't a castle. Have you never been sieged before? It's a marine base. You're a marine base. You've got a marine face. You're a marine race. You're just saying words. Oh, Mr. Braun, feed me your tasty rock. Thank you. That was very nice. I didn't like that. that was, did you not like that? That was very, very nice. Like a, like a mama prawn feeding a baby prawn. Not a fan. No, you're a human, silly. I keep telling you this. Why are my fish like- We, we can finish it. Don't, don't worry, boss. We'll, we'll, we'll finish this right up. You got- you, you take a break. And now we can build our bioreactor, which That's has to go in the center of the room. Jesus. Now stick the fish in there that, that swam into the cyclops. <laughs> Oh yeah! We can use this Give volunteer fish! fish. That, yeah, we can! Ha! Thank you, that Almighty Ghost, for power. giving us our lovely juices to start with. That's him. That's it. He's been that is him. That is him right there. There was a lot of juice in that little yeah, ghost skeleton would... fish. There was 13 powers of ghost ghost juice. That's a lot of ghost juice. All right, so now what we can do it's still going up. is go up to the Cyclops. Just grab some little guys. And deconstruct the power cell and then reconstruct yeah. it down here. Also bring some melons and stick them into your bioreactor. You want me to do what with a melon? On camera? Yeah, I want you to put your melons in. I am not going to stick a melon in my bioreactor. I just you. think we should juice some melons. Why is there knocking sounds? I'm really trying not to think about that. If I go back up there okay. and there's something looking at the the Cyclops, I'm I'm going to quit. I'm I'm going I to quit. I just go out the hatch and find out. The just fun go way. out the hatch and find the fun way. Yeah, something's just packed under it with its mouth open. Like, come on! I don't think they understand how submarines work, Josh. Well, if there is something on the hatch, you can't see it. So. Oh yeah, that's a really good idea. All right, we're good. It we're might good. just know the blind spots. Why are you trying to make this as hard for me as possible? <laughs> what What is wrong with you? I just, I just want, I just want to get to the point. Like, what is wrong? Why do you? You're supposed I, to be I a just, friendly voice in my head. I just think if I, if I name things that are more and more ridiculous, eventually your brain will just be like, wait, this is silly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have not forgot echoes of being grabbed by that devil spawn. Okay. Look, being right one in seven thousand times doesn't doesn't mean you're right. Wow, we got so much power out of one little fish. We should have built one of these sooner, actually. You didn't even bring any melon bits. Well, okay, I, I will put one melon seed in, okay? You didn't bring any. I did, one, one. Oh, you brought one melon seed. You know, man. What is what is that going to give us? Wow, it just got... Sorry, what what happened to it? My reaction, did, did you enjoy that? I don't, I don't think it counts as seed, I guess. <laughs> but surely it wouldn't let me put it in if it doesn't work. So that's just... Yeah, but, it, but it's not in the inventory anymore. The fish was still in the inventory. No, we weren't expecting to need lead. Who needs lead? What? Put it put it away. Put it, <laughs> put it away. What do I, what do, I do? Oh, Got it, run away. Got it, run away. What, what do I do? Take it. Just... Take your knife. <laughs> I'm being fed by a hey, cupboard. God, get, God, I'm under attack from storage. No, no, it's it's stuck in it's stuck in your eyes. I I can see it. It's it's lodged into your head. You just need to you need to cut it out. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, attack on storage is a much less threatening show. 
<laughs> well, yeah, especially considering what the what word you're replacing, it would change um, a very key aspect of it. I would say. A giant locker appears over the wall. And before this foundation somehow doesn't do the job because it's too far over to the left. Oh, what? 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 No, but why can it let me place? Maybe it? it wasn't a height problem. It was just a location problem. Clearly, it can go there. So why can't it connect? Oh, build it. Maybe it just doesn't show you the actual connection until. It's oh wait, built. no, maybe. Oh, I need to rotate it. It's a certain. It's a certain. One of the one of them's the entrance. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So could we have done that without the... Well, yeah, the, I was going to say, the foundation doesn't look like it's doing anything. Yay! All right. That's very exciting. Though, to be fair, foundation is probably not a requirement to place stuff. It probably helps a lot for the structural integrity problems we're about to have. We've got a reinforced wall. It should be okay. Uh, we have... Two sets of bars holding up this thing that's on an angle. I, I don't. I wouldn't trust it in real life. Okay. Now what we need is a window. I mean, we don't need a window, really. We need a window. Like I, you are a heathen. Okay. You have to think about the potential. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have a window. I'm saying we don't need a window. Oh, we're out of titanium. I'm. I'm pretty sure we had a lot of RAM. Well, we've got all from the lockers, and we've completely ate everything Did from the story. Yeah, we're going to have to go titanium? find some more. Well, if only there were mining nodes, or if we had a scan... If only there was loads of massive titanium nodes. If only we had a scanner room that we had just put in that could search for titanium. Okay, we good? We good? Yeah, we good? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, fine. It, it's flo it floats. <laughs> Shut up! I know it floats, but I didn't want to have, like, wonked it in an angle it couldn't de-wonk from. All right, Willy. <laughs> <laughs> Wonk. That, that's the joke. <laughs> that's the joke. Who'd win in their fight? Free Willy or Willy Wonka? Probably the whale. You know, I think I think Death Battle has been choosing bad matchups. We need Willy Wonka versus Free Willy. Well, also, what, what's 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 the neutral environment here? <laughs> Probably a aquarium tank. Then it's not like full open ocean, but you know, then the the, the orca can still breathe. It's an orca. I thought he was just a, a, a whale. Yeah, it's an orca. Free Willy. An orca. Ah, cool. Well, I'm not watching. Just as long as you are free, really, my heart has a home. Yeah, no, I've not seen it. I had that on video, which you won't know what it is, but it's like this little plastic. It's like this little plastic box, like rectangle box. I used to have a VHS. This is it's a weird and thing. And you shut up, I... child, and you feed it into like a, a slot, and then it plays it really poorly, and it spins. Well, when I was a kid, we had these things called Walkman, where you'd take a CD disc into CD-ROM, and you'd you, you put it in the thing, and then before that, there was tape, there was alpha tapes, so you'd stick them in as the beta track. Floppy discs, and they weren't floppy at all! <laughs> there is a lot of useful materials here. It very yeah. much does feel like game design for build a base. <laughs> well, I think when we got here, it was like, this place is rich in materials. It's like, ah, cool. Seems useful. Okay, excellent. So now we just need to go, I, I guess, mercilessly catch fish to blend into power soup. Just you, We could just use your melons, man. I just love this extended scanner. <laughs> Yeah, it gives us more scanning range. It does give us more scanning range. And now we can actually see what's kind of going on. Also, why does our lovely diver here, to use his PDA, instead of just, like, pulling it out and looking at it, he's like, I will hold it right in front of my face about two inches away so I have maximum less vision possible while interacting with my inventory. He's nearsighted. He's nearsighted. Big problem when you're when you're stranded underwater. Oh, we probably do want the scanner room hood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we probably also do want the range. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can do range. Copper and magnet. That's pretty easy. I think we should have two of these. Yeah, I think we should probably have two of these, but they're quite material hungry is the thing. Aren't they truly, though? It's just rubies and titanium, that right? That said, I think two of these will charge off this bad boy before two run out. Well, I mean, look how much a fish gave that thing. One fish. Like, well, I'm sure it'll be <laughs> One fine. fish? Yeah, look at that. Why are they shaking? That's how they get more energy. It's a kinetic transfer. <laughs> okay, we're, we're warming up, boss. We're getting there. Oh, my God. Uh, what was it for the scanner range upgrade? Uh, ma mag magnetite? Yeah, that's the one I remember. It was the second part that I forgot. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? What is? <laughs> you just somewhere? forgot where the hatch was. Shut the fuck up, okay? Just, I, just. <laughs> I'm just glad. I'm just glad that the Cyclops has an automatic open when you get close just, enough. Just shut up. <laughs> or you okay? would have just went and face planted the blue part and been like, <laughs> something's not right. All right, you don't. You don't know. You don't know me. <laughs> I'm pretty well aware of what I just looked at. 
Oh, we do actually have a spare computer chip, but now that makes me think we brought it for a reason. It's probably not spare. It's probably for this. It's probably for this. All right. It's going to range. Well, the worst thing that happens, we just make another what computer chip. What would we have wanted to build that would need a computer chip? I think it was literally this. No, because I didn't think about the scanner room upgrade. Well, you didn't remember about the scanner room upgrade. The question is if we go full moon pool. I don't think there's any need for that right now, because the only vehicle that we have with us goes in the Cyclops anyways. Yeah, but I do kind of want to go get the Seamoth, is the thing. Why? It's not like we'll never leave here. We should have one vehicle with the Cyclops, which is where we are, and one at the... Yeah, yeah, but that's the thing. As far as I'm concerned, the Prawn and the Cyclops will essentially live here, and then the Seamoth is to go do things, like, back out in in everywhere else. So we do at some point need to get it here, as I knew. But surely we need the Prawn and the Cyclops for, like, everything that we're doing, though. No, but I don't think we, we... We don't need the Prawn or the Cyclops for anywhere we've already explored. Yeah, but I don't think everything is going to come out of this cave, is what I'm saying, is we'll probably wind up going back that way. I had a really super cool idea. W what is it? You'll find out, won't you? Suspense is everything. Not really, because I have questions for this idea. And actually, I should probably return the prawn to the Cyclops. Well, yeah, you should put the prawn in the Cyclops. It's not really any... I mean, I guess the loss to that is it takes more Cyclops power because it'll charge the last four of the prawn. Where is, where, where is the... In the middle. In the middle. Oh, okay, there you are. There you are. I found it. <laughs> you just keep... You don't know where the holes on this thing is. <laughs> I just keep slamming on the, the inside. prawn against it. Oh, that's so funny. If I recall correctly... Yeah, emergency float- Oh, we don't have a bladder fish. That doesn't really help either, because that just makes you go Yeah, up, yeah, but that right? means we only need to get to the trench and then just go yeah, straight up. Yeah, but we can up. do that. I just don't- I just don't think it's necessary. Because the issue is, I'm gonna have to swim past the, the electric eel things, the- the teleport gits. They weren't getting angry at you. Just- once you got out, just No, just we go don't up. know. Look, ever, as far as I'm aware, things react differently to the Seamoth as they do to you out of it. So we have no idea how, like, psychopath they're gonna I be. I think if you go maximum speed, nothing can actually cause you a threat that we've seen down here. Oh. That said, do you have a spare battery? Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, I hate this so much, man. You have no idea how much I hate this. You have, you have so, you don't have to go straight. Like, I, I keep telling you, you have so much extra oxygen. You don't need to just go straight up. Oh, yeah, you are right. We will comfortably get there, won't we? Oh, it is making loud noises at us. Yeah, they just think the ambience in, in Creepy Death Trench is just the worst. We could just leave the Creepy Death Trench. We're not really, like, far from the getting away from it part. Oh, yeah, this was a little land bridge. That's fine. This thing really does the job, huh? It's actually quite quick, isn't it? Like, I don't know how we pulled that off, but we did. Okay. My heart was a little bit... Quite easily. ...was a little bit in my chest. Yeah, my heart was in my chest there, man. You have no idea how bad it was. Yeah. My heart was really in my chest there. That's good. I'm really happy for you. How do we drink water bottle underwater? Uh, you probably just have, like, an IV that you can just attach it to. Hey, I have perfect IVs. Thank you very much. I don't, I don't know. I feel like you, your parents wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm the 867th me, and I finally have perfect IV. And I'm a sh and I'm a shiny. I'll have you know, I have so many dead siblings. Oh my god, that's nothing you say. I hate you, Bobo Beckins. Can we go destroy that beacon? No, you don't get to give me something and then take it but away. It just marks my trauma. You, but you don't have to connect it that way. But I do and have. You just won't know where your trauma is. Then. <laughs> I think that's the right. That's the way to do it, you know? Just bury it deep down. I think that's worse, though, because then you don't know what to be afraid of. Uh, ignorance is bravery. No. I can't believe how quickly we covered what it was a really fair distance with just the Sea Glide. And on, like, 15% power. That's ridiculous. Sea Glide was our, our, main, our main guy for ages. While we're here, are there any more storage things we want to take with us? Oh, Martin. You should see what it's like down there, man. But, like, we don't want to show you because you'd probably end up in the bioreactor. Yeah, so, you know, you're safe. You're safe up here. You just keep It's living. better here. Hopefully the solar panels do the trick because we're never going to see you again. We're not supposed to feed you or anything, right? Yeah, that's a really good point. Do we Do we think we should feed them? Or... I mean, they'll eat each other if it comes to it. Let's at least check on Sparky. Oh, he's not sparking! That's exciting. Oh, no, there, okay. there, there you go. There you go. How we doing, everyone? It, it's a, it's a measure of his excitement. All having a great Pretty time. Pretty solid, yeah. Okay. Relative okay. size wise, this 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 is a crazy uh, museum, where the like the biggest thing is the sand shark. Yeah, that's a really good point. There is like a lot. Then the second biggest thing are the crash fish. Well, I think the uh, the eels a little bit bigger than the crash fish. Well, it's thinner though. 
Let's get some morning. It is morning. It's daytime outside. Look, if I'm able to sleep, I'm going to sleep. And then we get a nice, fresh it's day. Daytime. <sighs> you don't even know what time it is once we're 700 meters deep. It does actually... What? Yeah, I think you slept through the day. Can you do that? I mean, I, I would assume so based on what's just happened. I'm so confused. No, the sun's coming up, right? I honestly couldn't tell you. I guess, yeah, I think so. All right, so I think instead of just going straight back, I want to... I want to see if we can find... For your sake, you know, I'm doing you a solid here. This is a you-focused a you -focused adventure. Okay. What? Those, like, walkie things. We could have just done that when we were there! It was scary there! I don't think it was. You don't think anything's scary because you're an actual sociopath! I also have no idea if we're even going towards where those are. I can't believe you have the memory for this. Yeah, when we were near Ruby House, it said, The area here is like it's being flattened by some giant bottom-dwelling life form. Which I assume is them. Well, they were like walking on a bridge. Oh, well, never mind then. I guess it's, that can't be them. We didn't say bridge-dwelling life form. Well, That'd I just think if they're, if, they're big, if they're big enough to flatten the land, they're probably not big enough, they're probably too big to walk on a bridge. The thing is, they do walk, so they probably move a lot, is my main concern. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I walk, it doesn't mean I move a lot. <laughs> yeah, but they were constantly, like, they were locomoting, like, they left, that like, we lost. They were just going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so I get the impression they have, like, a path that they wander. Probably. I imagine most of the fish do, to be fair. All right, I, you know, I was running on full bravery, and now we're here again. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... There's no problems in the ruby house. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit scared again. The ruby house doesn't even have sharks. Where the hell am I? I don't know, you're just going places. There's a green light there. What? Is that a plant? Why is that so bright? I think it's a plant. It's just a random it's so Yeah, there's fish just attacking the sea moth. That's so interesting. Why is that a thing? Okay, it's not even a scannable thing. It's just a, you know. Oh, glow plant. It's just bright. Tell us your wisdom. Uh, that fish has four eyes. Just like you, nerd. Oh, that's, that's a very mean glow plant. Uh, that didn't sound good. No, that did not sound good. Scan? I mean, it wasn't a giant bellowing roar, so it could always sound worse. God, I love this scan. You know, it's like a little bubble of, you can't sneak up on me. <laughs> I say, before something inevitably still sneaks up it on me. It sounded sort of metallic like a warper, but it doesn't sound like a warper, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think I did just hear a warper. I can't see it, though. That's what those are. It sounds like it's south. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe you can sneak up on me. That's fair enough. Oh, they Fuck have to projectile you. it. Okay, yeah. did, did, I've never seen the projectile. They're play. so annoying, honestly. Well, that means it's dodgeable, at least. You know, this is really kind of the character act for me. It's amazing how fast understanding takes something from, like, horror heart attack to go away. Ah! Okay, it's still quite jump scary. Yeah, he's still around. I have no issue with you. Why do you have so much issue with me? If it comes back, just shock it with the sea moth. They probably don't like electricity. Oh, oh, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I think that might be it. Like the little camel guys. Yeah. Yeah, look. Okay, cool. We did yeah, it. Get closer. Get in there. Stick on them headlights. Well, okay, let's not be let's not be crazy. This is Stick on them headlights. There's a whole ass. Well, like... if those things are safe, then I feel safe because they'll protect me. I don't like that we don't have a beacon to drop. Do we have a beacon to drop? No, we don't have a beacon to drop. They do look like they are ground bound, right? Yeah, no, 100%. They've been moving really slowly and they have like legs. Okay. Hello? Look at them. They're just, they're just like guys. Oh, why is there a big ass cave here? That's probably where they're going. It's probably big because they go oh, through it. Oh, do they go through it because it's big? Only time knows. Oh my god! Look at them! Okay, they're quite silly. What are they doing? Walking. I mean, I'm just w worried about something like shooting out and grabbing me like some tentacles. Well, well nothing looks Ten detachable. Give them a scan. Oh, they've got some sounds to them that almost made me jump out my skin. Yeah. Oh, is that their eyes? Yeah, I think so. They're so like, is this like a mouth? They're like anteater crabs. Oh, it said like bottom feeding dwelling. So maybe this like is like a mouth tube or something. Yeah, it just it's a vacuum cleaner. It's just sucking everything up. Look at them. Oh, there's like little bits of rock on the ground. What a, Do they literally make rocks when they move? What a weird creature. Oh, yeah. Why is it facing me? Why are you facing me? I think it's me? just the is going. Just, just chill. Okay, we okay. Yeah, we good. We good. All right. What? 
are they? Skin. Okay, I'm gonna make my steam off high enough that they can't bump into it. Look at their little shells. Yeah. Okay. Such interesting creatures. Sea treader. Sea treader. I guess that makes sense. That is what he's doing right now. <laughs> that is. That is. Yep. That is. That is literally what's going on here. Mineable. Yeah. That's. Oh yeah. They just make mineable rocks. Oh yeah. Look, they generate. Yeah, look, every time it steps, it makes more rock. That's so cool! What the hell? Wow! Oh my god, hello! So I guess it's just, you know, friendly big guys that, that make stuff if you follow them. Yeah, they're not like, they didn't even try and attack me, and he snuck up. I don't know how he snuck up on me, but... Yeah, that was quite impressive, to be honest. Oh, they're really they're so weird. Why have they got like massive pipe mouths? Let's, let's, let's look at their thing. Let's look at their thing. Oh, yeah. And then you can go grab your hot knife and kill one. <laughs> Then we can shove one into the uh, new energy plant and blend it. Oh my god, that would that would last so long. Carnivore? Surely like a crab, though, you have to do that live. Okay, I'm so glad that it it, it was. I just wanted to check because that would have really uh, recontextualized it. Turns out they're just really slow carnivores. Oh, yeah, sea treader leviathan. They're lot leviathans. Yeah. yeah, they're big guys. A vast bipedal leviathan which roams the reefs in herds, grazing the sea floor. Bipedal, so that is like its mouth then. Yeah. Elongated snout. It does concern me what, what, like, I assume, like, the Reaper is probably this thing's predator. Yeah, it could probably crack the shell, couldn't it? Maybe a bone shark? They might probably have quite the bite. Eh. Okay, you it's now. used to siphon up plant material from the sea floor. I guess it depends how good they are at defending themselves as well, because they're not fat. Oh, yeah, look, migratory behavior, because otherwise they'd just ruin the sea floor. Yeah. Assessment, okay. sea treader herds may unearth mineral deposits as they churn the sand. So you could just follow behind eh, someone yeah. them and just fill your inventory. I mean, I don't think that's more effective than prawn mining, but that is Well, fun. yeah, I mean, it's also, you know, the RNG of they'll bring up whatever they bring up. But yeah, that seems like a cool way to just get a bunch of random stuff. I don't like how open the right of this is. Well, I think that by what they've described it as, it's that open because of these guys. Look at that sheer drop. Yeah, they've probably gone down there before. My god. Not on your life. That's probably where all the rocks go when they're done. It said herds, right? But there's only two of them. Oh, they're so funny! I mean, two could be a herd. <laughs> uh, what with their back nubs? I'm glad there's something kind of... It's like they have thrusters. Vaguely shelly. Because I was hoping there'd be something, like, crab-like. Well, there are the, the, the cave crawler things, but they're not really crabs, as they're saying. I guess they're literally crab snakes, but it's yeah, not they're like... not crabs, though. They're more snake than crab. They are definitely more snakes than crab. These are just anteater crabs. They're like old man crabs that eat a walking stick. It's also its mouth. Oh my god. Why? I think I think we're both pretty we both have pretty good guesses as to why. The fuck? Oh it actually attacked me for once! It just stabbed the sea mark! Oh, well then. What were you gonna tell me? What do you and I both know? Why why it keeps attacking us? Uh yeah, well, yeah, okay. I mean obviously the running theory is that these things are very anti bacteria. Yeah. And and as our scanner keeps telling us, we are infected. Why is it so green? It is weirdly green, isn't it? Maybe there's been an algae bloom. Go up to the surface. Is it green up there? Or is it just here that's green? I mean, the ocean just is a bit green and murky sometimes, isn't it? Water is clear. <laughs> Not if it's got contaminants in it, like Which algae. Which is why I was wondering why it was so green suddenly. Okay, it does seem like the table whales prefer to be above red grass. Well, they have red grass on them. Oh, yeah, they do have red grass on them. Let's go rescue the seamen. It's not in danger. Don't say it like that. Oh, I guess that's, that's true. Let's go We're get... We're just going to go visit the seamen. Just let everybody know, that's the flashing symbol of peace. That would be my hero name, by the way. That'd be a really concerning hero name. <laughs> I'm the flashing symbol of peace. Everyone, I... stop fighting, here's my junk. <laughs> I was thinking more holding like a neon sign that says peace that goes on and off. No, there's just like a gunfight breaking out. You just, you just walk out into the middle fully naked. Everyone, everyone, calm down. I mean, it probably would work. It, it would it? work for like a minute at least. And that's probably all you need. And, and then someone would probably here. decide to shoot you. <laughs> Not even one of the people I was stopping, just a, just a, yeah. a passerby out of principle. Yeah, passerby at, at this war that we were we, <laughs> But you know, on their, on their morning commute. Past you will the not get in the way of my way to work. Outdoor grow bed, where are you? Outdoor grow bed, come on, come on, come on. Put it on, just put it on top. Just put it on top of the put it on top of the thing. What? How could I do both half? You uh, you split it in half because we had enough for one, and you tried to do two halfway. But it's it, it stopped me like that's so weird. Go get more titanium. 
I wish you could get, like, advanced drilling. It takes so long to drill. Look at you complaining about the much more plentiful resource gaining than the, the previous Well, version. it could be even more platinum. Platinum? It could be even more oh. platinum. Man, I know I know that, that British people sometimes pronounce things differently, but I've never heard of this platinum. I know, British people sometimes pronounce things correctly. You're right, they do sometimes pronounce things correctly. <laughs> not, all, not often, but sometimes you have to give it to them. Yeah! Oh, that's so good! Nice knife. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, what, am what am I doing? <laughs> look, at this cool really... look at this magic trick I can do. I can turn a data yeah, really into a knife. intense knife look. I'm quite happy with this little uh, little temporary setup we've got. We can load up the Cyclops full of power yeah. and then... And I'd say it's more than temporary. It may not be our new main home, but it is It is a nice little base. And we've got our seam off down here now as well. The question is... What's next? Maybe further into this cave, past the bones that you refused to go to the last time we were here. Ha <laughs> ha! That's funny. That's funny. Reasonably, what's uh, what's next? I mean, I figure we brought the seamoth here for a reason of exploration further into the trench. I feel like increasing the speed is the most unnecessary upgrade. It does feel like that. Oh wait, it's just a thing. Is us? We oh, we're so dumb. Nice. Ah, oh, we're so dumb. Solid. What do we even do with this now? We can't even put it back into- it's back up in case we die. But it's a backup in case we die. Oh, that's so annoying. What are you doing with this? Put it somewhere. <laughs> trying to find a nice place for it. All right, that could just sadly go in there and just sit there to our uh, shame. What a waste of a chip. They're annoying to make as well. Stop putting the hot knife away. It's just better. We've not. We've realized that the hot knife doesn't harvest materials properly. No, it didn't do that. It didn't do that. You thought you said that, and then you did it with the normal knife and got the exact same result, and we're like, oh, and now you just think that's a an thing. Adult, an adult gel sack gives four seeds or three seeds, and then it. But neither. Of, but it didn't do it whether you did it with the normal knife or the hot knife. Yes, because clearly we must have already pre-harvested those ones. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying you don't know the hot knife doesn't do that until we actually do that properly. Well, I also prefer looking at the normal knife instead of having a glowing orange thing on the right of my screen constantly. <sighs> Like, there's no advantage to having the hot knife either, is the thing. Unless we want to, like, desperately cook and eat some fish on the go, I guess. I mean, I'm sure it does more damage than a regular knife. Damn, we, this, you don't kill things in this game. You have on various occasions. I've killed a stalker just to see if we could, and that's it. And a like, bunch imagine of fish. how many times you would have to stab a reaper to kill it. I don't think any hot knife's going to improve that I process. I didn't suggest stabbing a reaper, did I? And actually, I wonder what, what it costs to do the depth module for the prawn. Because I can see us needing beyond 900 meters soon. Well, we don't need it yet. It's always better to be prepared for the future. That's because you don't want it to be the future, or as long as it possibly can be not. Oh, we can't. Maybe you can plant blood oil. Maybe it's the blood oil itself that you plant? Try, try stabbing a blood oil. Don't don't or judge not. me, okay? I'm just trying to... Hey, what? Warper. Why did you fire that at me? I'm not even doing... Go, go away! See, if you had a hot knife, you might be dead. Oh, yeah, you might have one shot. I'm sorry, I forget how that works. It might. You're just not going to take the seamoth? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forgot about the seamoth! I just completely, I totally forgot about the seamoth! Man, what would, you, what would you do without me? <laughs> I mean, I'd remember eventually, wouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I just had this moment of, am I dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Have I missed something? Has he forgotten the sea moth? Did, did we not bring the sea moth here? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You know, impromptu beacon. I'm going to leave the sea moth here for now. <laughs> impromptu beacon. Oh, I'm going to be really sad if the uh, the blood oil capsule doesn't plant it, because that means you can't grow your own. Well, on the bright plant. side, it's about 100 meters away, if that's the case. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, there you go. Just got to plant some blood. Just got to plant some blood real quick. Okay. All right. Okay. Success. Yeah. I like it. We've had a little adventure. We have. I like having a little adventure. Our bioreactor is slowly running out, though. Yeah, we'll have to go gather some more, some more fish soon. Fortunately, we're in an ocean, some melons so there's, in there's there, a lot boy. of them. Put some melons in there. But we could mulch like, fish. That's the much more exciting proposition. I, I feel like I feel like three melons would power that thing for a month. Look at this. There's a thousand there. Yeah, but they're also li like they're, they're beans with. <laughs> with that just sounds like ah, oh, this bad boy just needs a melon a month. 
and you're just, off to a winner. I just, I just think that you've created an infinite melon breeding scenario, and then also are killing fish for That's fun. That's my favorite scenario: an infinite melon breeding scenario. It's like you're a fisherman who, like, he says he releases them, and then, and then he throws dynamite in after them. <laughs> I mean, that's still technically true. You do release the fish. Yeah, I catch the fish, and then I release the fish, and then it dies. It's not my fault. All right, then, guys. We've uh, seen a a sea treader. That was fun. I'm glad that this looks like a weird little hand rising. Let's not think about that. The real nice guys. Yeah, they are real nice guys. Sea treaders, not the hand. I don't know what's up with the hand. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the weird weird hand. We've got our little outpost set up, and... Hang on a minute! What? Come on, redemption arc from making another bloody... I don't know if this makes that better. <laughs> Shut up, this works. It's going to be really cool. Okay, scanner room range upgrade. Yeah. Current scanner range, 350 meters. 400... Yeah, they stack! 400... Oh, plus 50 meters! <laughs> hey, but that means we can put four in and get a massive disc. Yeah, then look! We can be at, then we can be at 500 meters. That's so cool! We could just keep doing that, that and good, extending yeah. it through the cave. Yeah, I guess if you're not going to do any other upgrades, you might as well. Oh my god! I mean, you don't really need any others, do you? Not really, yeah. You don't need more camera drones, do you? I mean, maybe you do, like, one speed. I don't see the point of the speed. <laughs> I imagine it's speeded updates on your hood to find you more stuff. It's probably the... Yeah, but how often do you run out of stuff before is, more stuff What is this up? that it's found? What is this little... Just the other side of the then. cave, I think. Okay. That's so cool. All right, then, guys. That's a good uh, little uh, bit done. And you know, overall, a fairly nice, calm, brave episode. You're, you're I'm, yeah, I'm, just a, you just a, just a little bit less than nautical, <laughs> a bit, just subnautical. Like you enjoyed this, subscribe to the bubble more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye